Recently, I did this question thing on Tumblr. I was tagged in a post for my friend Doom, a uh, link to that in the doobly-doo. Then I answered it. I tagged some more friends and passed it on. That was how the game went. So then I got tagged back by my friend Maria, whose post you can also find in the doobly-doo. She made her own questions in response, so now I'm going to answer them here, in a, in a video. Because, uh, why not? And without further ado, let's begin. Question 1. What is the dark part of yourself? Hmm. That's an interesting one. I'm kind of struggling to find a darkness in me. I'm such a bright, cheery, stupid, happy guy all the time. How could I have a dark side? But I'm sure I must, so, okay, let's see. Like I said, I'm usually a very cheery guy. In, in social settings, I commonly take a rather goofy role in the group. I find this often causes people to underestimate me. But this isn't necessarily something that I dislike. I really enjoy figuring people out, getting inside their heads, and finding out how they work. Humans are intriguing creatures sometimes. And I've been told that I can be uncannily perceptive, particularly when I was a child and how I was strangely aware of my mother and father's um, disagreements. And then when I figured someone out, I, I think I do get this kind of disturbing, manipulative feeling. It's creepy and more than a little sick, and I don't exactly like the feeling, but also I kind of do? Oh god, I'm a monster! So maybe that's why I find I identify with the Seventh Doctor a lot. Clownish exterior, but a, a dark, manipulative bastard on the inside. Wow, I, I sure hope not all of these questions take this long to answer. But but maybe this one's just long because it's it's honestly not something that I've ever talked to anybody about. So yeah, there's perhaps the, the, the dark part of myself. Okay, next question. What is one thing you cannot live without right now in this current time of your life? The internet. And not like in that, oh no, can't live without my Facebook way. I, I'm not 13 years old. I say the internet because that's my prime source of knowledge, discussion, and inspiration. So I answer this with the mindset that my life, at this moment, would not be at all the same without it. It wouldn't be the same life that I am living at this moment in time. Yeah, so so yeah, that's that's my answer. Yep. Question three. Any secrets right now that are consumed inside of you? Share if you dare. Secrets only are power to how much electricity you give them. Uh, secrets. Hmm. I'm not really a secretive type of person usually. Could my question one answer count? No, 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 no. no. Not gonna cheat out of this one. I'm doing this for realsies. Um, uh, I guess I was listening to One Direction the other day, and I secretly liked it a lot more than I should. But I don't know, bad music's one of those things that I love to be open about. It's it's just fun and hilarious. Eh, whatever, that's that's my answer. Yeah, uh, One Direction is the bomb. That's how I roll now, I guess. Question four, your top ranking film today. Oh no. Why did you have to ask this, Maria? I guess I deserve it, though. I've asked you something similar recently. It's really my fault. But it wasn't this definitive. This is too far. However, I have an obligation to answer it. So, here it goes. The movie that ranks the highest on my personal favorite film list is The Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars? Ooh, I bet that just burns you up inside. But it's the truth. There's just so much that's great about it. It's the perfect movie sequel. It's got superb plot structure. It's it's just a fantastic chapter in a sci-fi epic. I just can't stop loving it, and I cannot apologize for it. Question 5. What mindset do you have today? A fun-loving one! Question 6. Let us say you could give yourself any superpower that was thought up from you, hourly, or by the seconds. Do you think, in the end, you would use it constantly or daily and become dependent on using this extra energy, or no? Oh, superpowers again! I just did a whole video on that subject! How coincidental! 
I probably would become pretty dependent on it. Yeah. I imagine if I had the ability to give myself any power at any time, I'd get incredibly used to being able to just spring that out. It'd be like suddenly having an extra limb, but, but one that could do all sorts of things. A Swiss Army limb, if you will. A part of you that could do anything? That's pretty hard not to pass up the opportunity to use. Unless there was some sort of consequence or repercussion from using it, then I'd have a bit of a problem. I'd try to resist the temptation, but at that level of power, it's kind of hard not to. Such a quandary. Okay, next question. Regular chocolate of any brand or Nutella? There can be only one! I only recently became a convert to the joys of Nutella, around a year ago, and I must say, it's incredibly delicious. It practically goes on anything, but in my heart, I know that I can never trade it for good, authentic European chocolate. It's just, it's just where my heart lies. I'm sorry. Question 8. Have you decided upon something as of late to accomplish or experience? I decided to move recently. That's more of just because the opportunity arose and the planets are in alignment and all that. But I do have a pretty active role in this accomplishment, so I'd say that it counts. Question 9. Write a poem. There is no frame set for how wide it can go. The tranquil mind rests, waiting for its time of need, when wits clash as swords. A haiku by Connor Norris. Question 10. Look in the mirror. Come back and explain what you saw looking back into you. God, I'm so bad at this existential stuff. Uh... I saw myself. Is that too much of a cop-out? I don't know. I'd like to think that it's a cool, objective, A's A sort of answer. I'm sorry if that's a little boring, but that's all I've got. Final question. Are you happy? As a matter of fact, yes I am.